In today's art challenge video, I will be drawing with my non-dominant hand. I've actually attempted this challenge once before, but it turned out so horrifically that I had to scrap the entire video. I finally gained back the courage and I'd like to try it again for you guys today. Let's hope and pray that it turns out a lot better. I have no other rules for this challenge other than everything that I draw in color has to be done with my left hand. Enough talking, let's get right into the video. Since the point of this art challenge is to draw with my non-dominant hand, I will be drawing with my left hand, and that is definitely not natural to me, as you can see by this very awkward circle I'm trying to draw. It's very hard for me to maintain control with my non-dominant hand because with art, there is a lot of muscle memory that's incorporated into it. Until you have that muscle memory built, you're not gonna be able to make consistent lines and shapes. I will let you guys know a little weird fact about me, but I actually can do a lot of different activities with my left hand. I actually eat sometimes with my left hand, and I can only shoot a basketball with my left hand too. Really, writing and drawing are the only things that I'm absolutely terrible at with my left hand. I wanted to choose something that I was very comfortable with drawing for the subject of this piece. I decided to draw my husband Neil and I with our two dogs because I've drawn all four of us more times than I can count. I'm just wrapping up the initial guidelines and if you guys have seen any of my other art videos, you know that my guidelines are super messy anyways. I think guidelines are meant to be really loose, but the line art is where this challenge is really going to get tricky. I'm going to go ahead and go into the line art now with this fine tip sharpie. I figured since I drew smaller somehow with my left hand that a fine tip sharpie would be the only way I was going to be able to get any sort of detail into this piece. The finer tip of course did make it a little bit more challenging because any little mess up was hard to hide. The faces for me were especially a struggle. I drew my face and I just, I do not like the way that it turned out. I even drew a picture of what the face would look like with my regular right hand, which is my dominant hand, to show you guys the difference and it looks pretty different. <laughs> After I was done with the face, I was a little bit discouraged, not gonna lie, but going into the more flowy, sort of natural shapes and outlines of my silky chicken and my clothing made the process a lot easier with my left hand. I just drew my arms crossed and didn't really even bother with hands in this piece because I just did not want to try and draw any sort of fingers. And then I went back into the face and made it even worse, if that's even possible. Made it look like I didn't have any teeth. I'll try and go back and correct that later. Drawing my dog Diesel was so much easier because you can tell he's fluffy. There's a lot more room for mistakes. He was turning out pretty cute, but then this happened. I gave myself demon eyes, so I instantly grabbed a white jelly roll and tried to go back and fix the no teeth issue and the demon eye issue, but it wasn't working. The white wasn't covering it, so I was like, I'll leave it to dry for a little while longer. I'm going to get started on Neil instead. Of course, his ears came out super lumpy and he wound up with a potato face, but we'll make do with it. I am not going to be too hard on myself with this challenge because it is my non-dominant hand. It's just not natural to me until I've built that muscle memory, so let's get into drawing Dixie. Dixie is my other dog, and of course I think she was pretty easy to draw too. I stopped like halfway through her face. I couldn't tell you why. I just went and drew in Neil's shoulder, and then I came back to her, added the rest of her body, added the little details to make her look more like herself, and then I kind of added in Neil behind her. He kind of looks like he's twisting his legs. I don't know. It's not perfect. The line art, I'm not that big of a fan of, and I smudged it because I was too impatient to wait for it to dry. I was really just done with this whole project at the point, but I hoped that the coloring would kind of bring some life back into it, and I will say it really did. Of course, I don't want to spoil too much so you can just see for yourself. I tried to leave a little bit of space when I did color in the different parts of this piece because I didn't want to smudge the color outside of the lines. It still happened here and there, but I color outside the lines even with my dominant hand. I'm not a perfectionist. It looks fine. I don't really like the extra details that I added to the hair here, but hey, it's something. 
I suddenly understand how my students feel when I have them draw a step-by-step -step drawing with me and they are frustrated because it doesn't turn out the way that they want it to. I'm so used to knowing how I draw and knowing my own art style that usually I can picture in my head what I'm about to draw and if it turns out a little bit different from the image in my head, it's okay. But when I have something in mind and I can't execute it, it really is frustrating. So it kind of gave me a little bit more empathy for those kids and maybe I'll be able to work through it with them and teach them, hey, until you get used to that muscle memory and being able to draw those lines and shapes the way you want to, it's going to be challenging. On the bright side, I was able to add some whites back to the eyes and the teeth. It's a little bit unsettling. All I had to do is add the finishing details and I was done. I do want to show you guys a very similar image that I made just a year ago with my dominant hand because I think it's fun to compare. The process was fun and now I'm really encouraged to learn to draw with my left hand. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and hit the subscribe button. It's free. It just lets you know every time that I post a new art video so you never miss a single one. And I'll see you all in the next art video. God bless. Bye.